Hey friends, I've been looking forward to uh, showing this to you for quite some time now. But first, we would love it if you would hit all those buttons and smash that like button and we will get started. This is the 1978 Fender Twin Reverb. The story behind it was it was first made in 1977. The original owner apparently kept it in his closet, played it once or twice and never really did anything else with it. As you can see, it's basically a mint state amplifier all the toll legs is in place very well maintained very well kept for all these years uh, the original sticker with the specs for the uh, tubes, it's all still in place. And of course, you've got your drip edges and everything's all looking good. The grill is in pretty much mint condition as well. Basically, over the course of the 60s and 70s, these amplifiers got tweaked. Some people didn't like some of the changes that were made throughout the 70s, and that's why so many of these are hard to come by uh, in their original state so many people have tried to tweak them to make them more like the 1969 specimen but i mean i like this the way it is it's it's an amazing amplifier of course you got two channels the normal channel which is your clean vibrato and of course as far as i understand the story behind vibrato is they were trying to in a way mimic the sound of a leslie speaker because back in the 60s and 70s, a lot of rock bands still used electric pianos uh, like the uh, Fender Rhodes. One of the most popular ones is the Yamaha CP70B or the Yamaha CP80. Of course, the Wurlitzer 200A. The sound of the Leslie speaker, there's a cone that spins in it when you're running signal through the amp. When that cone spins, shoots the, the uh, air out all the way around 360 degrees the effect that it makes is like a um, a tremolo so that's kind of the joke about a uh, fender is when they say vibrato they mean tremolo when they say tremolo bar they mean vibrato you've got your treble mid and bass eqs uh, whenever you have the bright switch engaged what that's supposed to do is bring out the sound of your more treble in that nice big sparkly sound that comes out of a electric piano that so many synthesizers try to emulate. These second uh, jacks for both normal and vibrato are more for your higher output machinery. So they're, uh, they're not necessarily for guitars. Your first jack is designed for the guitar and your second jack is designed for something more like electric piano or a synthesizer. And of course on vibrato you've got uh, your volume you got your treble mid and bass eq you've got reverb the speed and intensity of your reverb and then you've got your master volume and this on this one this is specific for this model the 78 you got the push pull knob and what happens is when you push it in it's clean when you pull it out that engages your overdrive you have a little um, outlet right here. That's not a mod before the 1980s. Uh, especially in the 60s and uh, early 70s, a lot of companies that made uh, like the original Echoplex, uh, there's um, a lot of those uh, still out there, but all these effects that we use today, they used to be done on tape. So it looks like kind of like a shoebox with Tolex on it, and it, inside is something that looks kind like a radio but it, it's a control for the tape device that's actually inside and that drives your echoplex and you you can plug that into this directly so that is for your external effects actually and you got your ground switch a b uh, you got your fuse uh, you're on and standby whenever you're powering up you turn on the on switch first and then you wait a moment, let the uh, amplifier warm up, and then you hit your standby, and then you're ready to go. Now right here, you can see where the speakers are plugged in, and right next is your external speaker cabinet. Now, line recording, this is something that's 
very specific to this model. It's you can actually hook this amp into recording equipment. You could hook it up into your DAW and record straight from it. Uh, that's uh, actually part of the reason why I purchased this amp is for the direct recording. You got your output tubes matching. Of course you can see in there where you've part where you can use a screwdriver to control it. Uh, you got your vibrato pedal, you got a reverb pedal, and of course um, I haven't been able to track those down yet. I uh, look forward to um, giving an update on those. This is for your reverb tank. You got your reverb output, you got your reverb input right here, and then you got hum balance right here, and it's controlled much the same as um, over here on your output tubes matching. So that's quite a bit on all of these Fender Twin uh, reverb amps. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it, but you've got four output tubes, six L6 GC types, and you've got six preamp tubes four of them are 7025 or 12ax7s two of them are 12at7s and all twin reverbs feature a solid state rectifier it has two independent channels of course normal and reverb and this one has um looks like it's the original fender speakers and it looks like it still has the cover for the reverb tank down there so what we'll do is hook this up and take it through some of the settings and give it a test. All right, friends, so we're going to get some uh, sound samples real quick. Um, we're going to be using the uh, Player Series Telecaster and currently the uh, bright switch is set to off. <laughs> Turn on the bright switch now. And so now we're going to look at the vibrato channel. Uh, again, the volume for this channel is set to 10. The uh, bright switch is off. Uh, we're still on 4 for the uh, master volume. And let's see, we've got reverb set to 4, speed 4, intensity 4, and. to it now with the bright switch engaged. What we're going to do now is set the volume down to 4 for vibrato, turn master volume up, and engage your uh, push pull knob. And of course, you can. I won't go too loud because we do have uh, a new Kiki uh, hiding under the couch and. Don't want to scare it off, so. <laughs> but that is how you engage the uh, overdrive for this. And of course. 
course, uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell on the video, but it's quite a bit louder uh, set this way. So, with the push-pull knob off, and then back on. And of course, um, you can also set the volume knob all the way up on the vibrato channel to get a lot of feedback and if you have not yet feel free to uh, subscribe and i will see you next time take care